This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at audio fundamentals inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to work with multi-channel audio, where a single clip has multiple channels of audio. Here I have an interview. Why should our audience be interested in your products? So uh, we've created some typical interview. We have the host. Why should our audience be interested in your products? So uh, we've created... Except I want to be able to trim this so that I don't hear the guest mic and I don't hear the host mic except when they're talking. With the clip selected, notice here under audio configuration it's set to stereo. Change this to dual channel mono. And now I see there's the host mic right here on the second channel and the guest mic on the first channel. Well, how do I see these in the timeline so I can trim them? Select the clip. Go to Clip Menu, Expand Audio Components. When you've changed this from stereo to dual mono, you're now able to see there's our host mic, there's our guest mic. I'm going to grab the guest mic and trim this in with a little bit of a fade. Grab the host mic, trim this, little bit of a fade. Whoops. Fade. There we go. And play it. Why should our audience be interested in your products? So uh, we've created something that is really tearing... See how much cleaner that is? I get rid of the noise coming in from the other person's mic because it's a trade show and it's noisy. Yet I haven't lost the sync of these two clips. And whether I'm doing a single track where I don't need to expand components, stereo, which I do all the time, or something as complex as a 24-channel audio record from a sound devices box, I can control each of these by switching this from stereo to dual mono and turning the tracks on or off. If I want to disable the track, click here, uncheck it, and now the host mic is gone. Go back again, turn the host mic back on, host mic is back again. Why should our audience be interested in your product? I have separate gain control. Why should... A little bit too much, pull it down, hold the command key again. Why should our... And here created something that is needs to come up. So I have different gain settings. For uh, we've created something that is really terrible. This is just so huge. The ability to go to the inspector, set this to be as many channels as you need, go to the clip menu, expand audio components, and now I can trim clips where each channel has got a different in, a different out, and a different level setting. I use this kind of multi-channel work all the time. Open them up in the inspector, adjust them in the timeline. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio fundamentals inside Apple's Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 232. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.